हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम नीरज शर्मा फ्रॉम आईटी डिपार्टमेंट इन बियानी ग्रुप ऑफ कॉलेजेस बिहाफ ऑफ गुरु के पी आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ बस आर्किटेक्चर एक्चुअली व्हाट इज़ बस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड बी डिफाइन अबाउट द बस व्हाट इज़ बस बस एक्चुअली इज द टॉपिक कॉन्सेप्ट बाय विच वी कैन ट्रैवल फ्रॉ ए डेटा फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर प्लेस और वन हार्डवेयर टू अनदर हार्डवेयर कंपोनेंट इन मदर बोर्ड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी वी मस्ट टू बी क्लियर अबाउट द बस आर्किटेक्चर सो इट इज़ ए सिस्टम दैट ट्रांसफर द डेटा बिटवीन कंपोनेंट्स डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट्स वी हैव the motherboards so in motherboard we have lot of the components so if we want to travel from one place to another place then we have to be proceed with the bus architecture so two type of buses uh, basically are supported uh, internal bus and external bus so internal bus basically support three type of buses which is called control bus address bus and data bus so all three type of buses are called system bus as we discuss in system bus that we have two type of buses in system bus so first of all uh, we just discuss the internal bus what is the internal bus basically internal bus supported uh, three type of buses uh, which is called control bus address bus and third one is data bus so what is control bus control bus is basically determine the operation of buses which carries from one component to another component it means when we want to uh, describe the data uh, from one component to another component or travel the data from one component to another component then on that time we use the control bus so it is used by the cpu to communicate with devices we have the different devices on motherboard so cpu is basically the main component which is uh, responsible to uh, transfer the data from one place to another place or from one device to another device so it is really connected through physically connected with the cables and as well as printed circuits friends uh, let's discuss about the address bus basically address bus is a computer bus uh, which is defining the some part of address or uh, defining some kind of uh, locations which is for devices uh, basically we have the different kind of uh, physical addresses and uh, as well as uh, some ip addresses also so physical addresses is denote particular devices that how the devices can be communicate with each other so after that uh, we can discuss that uh, line connecting is with with the two or more devices are basically uh, defined with each other so address bus determine the amount of memory a system can address and after uh, that it is uni unidirectional unidirectional means it uh, define in both directions in direction of uh, front to uh, backward as well as backward to front direction so data sent by data bus is refer to the address buses third point is data bus basically data bus is uh, related with to interact with the data so we can transfer the data from data bus by data bus uh, from one place to another place so it connected all the internal component of computer such as cpu and memory to the motherboard so whenever we use the cpu and mem uh, motherboard and memory then we should want to connect with the each other and want to send the transfer the data from one place to another place then on that time we use the data bus so it is also referred to a, as a local bus because uh, they are int uh, intended to connect to the local devices so basically data bus is a bidirectional bidirectional means uh, we can communicate in both directions uh, we can forward the data from one component to another component in forward direction as well as backward direction also uh, in case of address bus we discussed uh, the we have the unidirectional so unidirectional is basically defined that uh, we can tr uh, transfer the data from one place to another place or in one direction only let's discuss about the external buses uh, what do you mean by the external buses basically external buses uh, defined with the expansion bus uh, it is another name of uh, external buses so we must follow the architecture of buses we have the different type of architecture so first of all uh, we must to define the e isa it is a type of architecture which is defined extended industry standard architecture second one is uh, isa which is called industry standard architecture and third one third one is uh, called the micro channel architecture which is called mca friends uh, let's discuss about the eisa it is a type of bus architecture which is defined by the ibm company international business management uh, which is uh, basically define the standard architecture for ps2 series computers so it is 32 bit reference is we use uh, inside this architecture so describe uh, the expansion slot and related circuits basically defined in the eisa standard architecture Let's discuss about the bus architecture eisa eisa is a type of bus architecture which is defined by the ibm company ibm is a international
information business management so basically it is defined to the ps2 series computers so ps2 series computer is a specific type of series which is defined by the ibm to the computers components uh, basically 32 bit reference is supported to the eisa architecture eisa architecture also define the expansion slots as well as the related circuits Discuss about the isa which is international standard architecture oh, okay it is a architecture for ibm psxt extension computers basically defined by the ibm again it supported single system with 80386 and 80486 series and uh, it supported 24 as well as 16 bit address line supported let's take another type of discussion which is uh, micro channel architecture which is another type of bus architecture it is basically supported ps2 series which is another again defined by the PA ibm company and it is supported with the 16 as well as 32 bit processor line uh, a slow bus speed is there after that uh, we can discuss about the interruption interruption is at low level very low level so uh, limited number of interruption is there so hardwired and uh, complexity is also there so we just discussed that uh, some of the computer complex are there supercomputers and these kind of computer on that time we use uh, this kind of architecture a limited number of io devices addresses as well there thanks for watching my video and please uh, subscribe like and share my video if you like and uh, please subscribe the guru kpo.com thank you so much thank you very much